Hello, world. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you happen to be joining from. Thank you for being here. So today I figured we'd have a little fun. Just do some little play things. So, if you haven't already, got card one, card two, and card three. Pick a card, make a choice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reveal all three cards at once. And then I will read the definitions afterwards. So, if you picked card number one, we got some Dalmatian Jasper here. We got... Ace of Discs for card number one. Card number two. We got some Amethyst here. For card number two, we have Four of Wands. For card number three, we got some new might here. This is my personal favorite stone. For card number three, we got Knight of Cups. Card number one, Ace of Discs. Card number two, Four of Wands. Card number three, Knight of Cups. These are all really positive cards. These are all good choices. So let's start with the Ace of Discs. Ace of Coins. This is a card about money out of thin air. Look at your card. A hand comes forth from the clouds bearing a giant gold coin. On the ground, things blossom under an infusion of capital. A little money drops suddenly into your lap. A gift is received or given. Funding comes from unexpected sources. Material assets may be involved. Maybe you win a contest. You can't believe your luck. For the subject of work, working capital, financial backing comes in the form of a gift. Someone underwrites a project, gives you a grant, or puts up the money you need. You may get a little advance against future earnings to tide you over until the big money comes in. That raise you were hoping for comes through. A bonus is bestowed, or benefit programs are improved. On the subject of love, diamonds are forever. A proposal comes with a rock attached. Gold rings are exchanged or a dowry is put up. The material trappings of love are involved. For some reason, gifts with big price tags are said to measure the extent to which the heart believes. In your case, it is true. On the subject of money, cold hard cash. Money jangles in your pockets, swells in your wallet, and drips from your bank accounts. Money falls out of the sky. You are showered with money. Money fills your hands. Or somebody offers you a gold card with one heck of a limit. Maybe you win the lottery. For the strategy, for the subject of strategy, hold out your hands. When that old slot machine lines up on triple sevens, get your plastic cup ready to scoop up the jackpot. Feel the weight of all those casino chips being counted out by the cashier. 
Count along with the teller as those big bills are stacked up on one another. There's really nothing much to do when it's your lucky day. Just sit back and rake it up. Your ship comes in. So, for that's for those who picked card number one. Now, on to card number two. We've got the Four of Wands. Okay. Four of Wands. This is a card about celebrations. Look at your card. A party is being held or a ceremony has just been conducted under the bower. Restaurant workers, hotel staff, repair people, clergy, and groundskeepers may be involved. You would like a job with lots of people contact or that requires public relations skills. Perhaps you will soon be asked to participate in organizing or attending some kind of social event. On the subject of work, opening night. The work you have chosen brings you in contact with all sorts of people with widely varying personalities and expectations. You are evaluated on your performance and on a number of complaints or compliments received about you. You will soon need to attend to something on the spot and on the double. Showing up on time counts, but you also need to play your part well. As they say in the theater, break a leg. On the subject of love, wedding bells. If you're in the market for a date, there's no better place to shop than at a wedding. Unless, of course, it's yours. Get a haircut and have your shoes shined or your nails done. When a special occasion is celebrated, be sure to dress the part. The look you want to go for is the look that appeals to those you want to impress or attract. On the subject of money, personalized attention. Attend grand openings, open houses, or business anniversary bashes in order to meet people you want to do business with. Select a bank that does more than take your money. Choose a realtor, tax service, doctor, lawyer, or travel agent who understands that you are the customer. On the subject of strategy, common courtesy. A big smile makes a difference even when answering the phone. Pleases and thank yous go a long way. Be sure to thank your host or hostess for their hospitality. So that was card number two, Four of Wands. Now on to card number three, Knight of Cups. I'm just looking right here. Knight of Cups. So this is card number three. This is a card about deliberate behavior. Look at your card. A dark-eyed knight wearing wings comes into the picture on a prancing steed. At this moment, someone is winging his or her way to you. It could be a lover or it could be a newborn. The progress may be a little slower than you would like, but the entrance that is made is memorable, maybe even spectacular. On the subject of work, incremental progress. Take one step at a time, work at your own pace, and keep plodding. Eventually, you will finish the, the assignment or mission you have taken on. An ultimate goal or final destination is reached. You come through with flying colors. On the subject of love, propositions. Someone attempts to sweep you off your feet with a little sweet talk, outright flirtation, or a series of suggestive remarks. Though nonchalant and slow in its way, the action is fast, perhaps too fast for you. Someone is delivering a few well-rehearsed lines. On the subject of money, the check is in the mail. Money is sent or automatically transferred into your account on a routine basis. In a pinch, money is wired or a certified check comes via express mail or a promotional offer in a time-dated envelope is printed on paper that resembles a check. 
Something you send for comes via direct mail or courier service. You could also receive a fax. On the subject of strategy, deliver on your promises. The situation calls for swift action, but there are many details to attend to in fulfilling a request or executing an instruction. Buy yourself some breathing room by relying on a delivery service or an electronic means of communication. Focus on preparing and packaging a message first, then on delivering it. So that was for those of you that chose card number three. There we go. So once again, all nice and positive. Those were all pretty good. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I know I had fun. And I hope you all have an awesome rest of your week. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other.